I decided to start my mini series of eating your way through the rainbow and today I'm starting with reds. You can catch the full video on YouTube at Christina Diller and here I have is some tomatoes and peaches. Weird combination, not so much. And like about a week and a half ago I started feeling a little bit under the weather and unlike most people I can't take cold medicines. So I reduce my symptoms through different foods, different spices. And today I'm doubling up on that vitamin C right here. I'm going to be making a tomato peach cobbler. So all I have here is some boiling water. I'm going to go ahead and put my tomatoes and peaches in here with the skin on. Let them boil for about 45 seconds to about six a uh, minute maybe. Um, just so they get softened up a little bit. I am going to use the skins. Uh, use, using skin on tomatoes actually increases the vitamin C intake by almost half of the percentage that you would normally get if you took off the skins. Tomatoes are also great for reducing your risk of heart disease and increasing your eyesight. Also helps decrease diabetes which is totally amazing. So a lot of nutrients and vitamins do come out of tomatoes and peaches. Peaches also help with skin care, eyesight, and vitamin C as well. So here I am, I'm going to be making some yummy, delicious peach and tomato cobbler, getting my vitamins and my nutrients for the day. So while my peaches and tomatoes are cooling down, I'm just going to go ahead and start my sauce. I have the zest of one large lemon. I have a fourth cup of dark molasses and two teaspoons of vanilla that I'm going to go ahead and add in here. I also have one fourth cup of sugar in the raw that I'm going to be adding in here. Once I slice up the peaches and tomatoes, I'm going to go ahead and let this reduce. While I'm letting the peaches and tomatoes reduce, I'm going to start on my biscuits that I'm going to go ahead and put on top of my cobbler. For the top of my cobbler, I have one cup of whole wheat flour and one cup of cornmeal, one teaspoon of bacon powder, I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of canola oil, along with one large egg, meanwhile I put that lemon to some great use, I just made myself a cup of black tea. So I'm going to add some of this lavender honey that I picked up from the market with the lemon and the tea to help soothe my throat. And by no means, I'm not saying that veggies and fruits are a cure-all for anything. I'm just giving you some helpful hints and ideas of the nutrients and vitamins that they do carry. I'm also going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla. Once I have this incorporated, I'm going to go ahead and put that on top of my cobbler. I have my oven set at 350 and I'll bake that for about 30 minutes. 350 at 30 minutes and I will see you then. And just like that, I've got my peach and tomato cobbler. Good for the heart, good for the soul.